nor has always been in the back of our minds. So when Rafa Copenhagen got the invitation to explore the Norwegian fjords on our bikes, we knew we couldn't say no. Normally we travel south, where people have always ridden. Norway was uncharted territory, at least when it comes to cycling. We could already see what we had ahead of us when we were sailing into Bergen. Beautiful mountains surrounded by fjords, totally different than what we're used to back home. Waking up in the morning and looking through the mist and seeing the fjord was unbelievable. Just uh, an introduction to the country from its best side. It was as if they had taken the Danish weather and thrown it on top of the winding roads of Southern Europe. In one instant, you're in beautiful sunshine and it's 22 degrees, and in the next moment, it's 10 degrees and pouring down rain. When we were out there working hard, it didn't really matter whether it was raining or not. It was almost cooling as we were putting in intense efforts on the climbs. Sometimes riding along a fjord feels like walking on a tightrope. You know you're in the right place. If you look to the left, you see the water, and if you look to the right, you see a mountain wall. Something very special about that feeling. Riding up to the Folgafona Glacier was the high point of our trip. I think it's hard to match the epicness of Folgafona. We started out at sea level with a temperature of around 16 degrees. At the bottom, I was sweating and had my jersey flapping open, rolled up through a valley, and ended up at a ski lift at a temperature of around 4 degrees. 18 kilometers later, all in one climb. We saw so much different stuff. We rode by waterfalls. We rode past sheep and little lambs nursing and ended up at a glacier. I mean, it's hard to beat. Folgafona was really amazing. Riding from point A to point B with someone else taking care of our baggage was a little like having a pro tour soigneur with us. It was our job to ride our bikes and nothing else. One day we started in a world-class spa where we could warm up our muscles in the sauna and do laps in the pool. And after riding for a hundred kilometers, we ended up in a cozy fjord side hotel where the owner of the hotel actually came out and sang a Norwegian folk song just for us. Norway on two wheels is just amazing. Looking at the pictures from this trip, I can't believe it's over. I think our trip really made some of our club mates jealous, so they're already talking about taking another trip up. We're definitely going back to Norway.